Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. So in this one, we're going to cover uh, uh, some of the things about the Bug Strike Back update that may or may not have been uh, noticed by some of you guys. Some of the stuff they snuck in, and they didn't actually put it in the patch notes, and some of it they, they did. There was a ton of patch notes. Um, a lot of it had to deal with the uh, issues of the crashing of the game. So some of this, this stuff might have been skipped over by you guys. So we're just going to cover 13 different things that you might have missed in the uh, Bug Strike Back update. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, one of the things is the zip line speeds have been increased and the acceleration has been increased. So a lot of the people that build kind of more uh, horizontal or flat looking zip lines, the speed will increase a little bit. Not a lot, so you're not going to go flying across it, but uh, the speed has been increased a little bit. Um, one of the other things is they've added some of the Orb Weaver Juniors over around the other parts of the map near the oak tree and in particular on the ground in the hedge area. Um, the Orb Weaver Juniors now actually have a poison attack and with the Mithridatism being nerfed a little bit to where you don't have 100% poison resist, that can be a big factor. So I definitely recommend carrying some fiber bandages to uh, counteract that. You'll see it just on their basic attacks similar to the Orb Weaver itself. Um, their little three three pronged attack basically where they'll hit you three different times that's not going to do the poison it's only one attack in particular and that's gonna be the one where they lunge back and then uh strike forward that one will actually do poison damage so be careful with that when you're over there in the hedge and uh, especially if you're uh, redoing the hedge base since the story got um reset you might want to watch out for that poison attack another one we have here is that the gas mask now has a sleek path uh that you can upgrade it down so we're gonna go ahead and look at that right here so it's at level one right here. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this. And uh, one of the other things you can see right here, we'll jump into this a little bit here in a second, uh, is that the armor upgrades, the prices have been decreased and there was no mention of it. And I think that's something that's huge that they should have mentioned. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, sleek path for the gas mask. Three, six, nine for level three, 12 for level four, and now 15 for uh, level five. So it's no longer doubled. It's no longer two, four, eight. 16 and 32 it's now 3 6 9 12 15 so it only increases by uh three each time so now you're doing what 15 18 30 now it's only 45 as opposed to uh what it was before so we do have more grubs um you're getting more grub hides from grubs and now the price has actually decreased for increasing the uh increasing the uh, level of your items here so we're gonna go ahead uh, make sure we choose sleek here yes now you see we have explosive resist here. So what this is going to do is uh, increase your resistance to the explosive damage that the um, that the insects will do over in the uh, haze area. So you can see this here. We have gas guard, which is still going to have that, and it increases the defense and everything too. So you're at five and a half, or what, five defense here now. Oh, that's that. So we're at two and a half defense here, resistance two and a half percent, whatever. The explosive regress so increases your resistance taking damage so this is going to be huge if you're able to upgrade this um, prior to going into the haze lab itself because the uh the ladybugs the infected ladybugs the infected larva the infected weevils all have explosive attacks that can damage you and the haze itself the the fungi the infected fungi in that area also explodes so if you're caught off guard uh keep your gas mask on upgrade it a little bit at least to level six and you'll get this uh this innate ability right here for explosive resist which is going to help uh, negate some of that damage there all right so one of the other things that we just touched on and we'll go over a little bit more into detail here which is a pretty big deal and i'm surprised that they didn't put out any patch notes or anything concerning this so we have our b army here uh level five stylish so we're gonna go ahead and go to this one so level one like i said so now the prices of the grub leather plates are three six nine twelve and fifteen a heck of a lot cheaper than what it was so if you guys didn't notice that we had some uh, people commenting on uh, somebody else's stream yesterday about the the prices of that and then uh, the individual went and tested it out mediocre Milton went and checked it and yeah lo and behold the armor upgrade prices were reduced no mention of it in the patch notes it wasn't announced it wasn't nothing was said about it so there's a uh, another little good thing right there when it comes to the uh, the armor upgrades so they have listened it seems like so the armor upgrades are not that bad there is still a lot of the grind for the sap, for the crude rope, uh, for the uh, acid glance, for the bug rubber, as well as the uh, the grub hides themselves, but it's not as bad as it was. So that's definitely a bonus. All right, a few other ones here. Uh, pollen for the pollen turrets is really hard to come by. Um, so if you find yourself in an area where bees are going to be raiding your base, if you kill them, they always drop pollen. 
So pollen, you can find it obviously over under the picnic table. There's a lot over by the uh, edge of the lake near the, uh, the little uh, machine there that you draw on. I can't even think of the name of it right now. Uh, but that there's pollen over there. There's pollen right outside the uh, wolf spider area that's over by the upper yard. So there is pollen around, but you're not going to get a lot of it. The only way you can really get a lot of it is by going up on the picnic table and killing bees, which can be difficult. But now, obviously, if bees are coming to you and raiding your base, then they always will drop pollen. So that's a good one right there. And speaking of the base raids, the turrets that you can use, the pebblet turret, will actually do more damage when it's in a defense uh, scenario. So if it is in your base raid, if you're using a turret on the wafter or the waft emitter, if you're using the turrets in the uh, the mixers, which I highly recommend, it's super fun, um, they actually do more damage when you're using them in those situations. So go ahead and try out your, uh, your pebblet turrets. You're going to have uh, need a lot of pebblets, which is not hard to come by, but uh, check that out. Uh, another one is the daggers. They mentioned um, two things here on the daggers. The daggers they mentioned uh, weren't able to chop down anything above water anymore. Underwater, they said it still worked. Um, and another caveat to that is uh, all the underwater insects that were previously weak or weak to um, chopping have now been made weak to slashing. So. I think it's just your diving bell spiders. I believe the uh, the water fleas are still weak to stabbing, but if you look at diver, diving bell spiders, they used to be weak to um, chopping. There is no chopping anymore um, from the dagger itself. The dagger is just slashing. So we can go down here. You can still chop grass. You can still chop uh, dandelions. You can still chop husky weeds. You can still chop clovers, mushrooms, toadstools, all that stuff. So the dagger does still work above land to uh, chop this stuff down. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Uh, factional base raids. The cooldown was like two to six days, I believe. So people were getting raided a lot without any time uh, in between the raids. So there's two bits of information with that. So the base raids now, the uh, cooldown has been increased to six to nine days. But on the flip side of that, on the other side of that coin, um, the insects that are raiding are doing more damage. So it is better they're not coming around as often, but when they do come, they're going to hit for a lot more damage. So it's kind of a, a give and take on that one. Um, a few other things we're going to cover. Let me get some water real quick. And back in here is the, uh, the lint. So two things with the lint as well. The lint used to only drop like uh, two or three pieces at a time when you would go harvest it. Now for the minimum that I've gotten, I just got, uh, went and harvested a bunch of lint this time. The minimum I got from every single one was four, and I think the max I got was seven. So I'm looking, it's looking like they increased the amount of lint that drops as well. So you can see we got 40 just from the pieces I went and got. And so with that, the uh, cost of lint has been reduced from three to get lint rope down to two. So now I can get 20 lint rope instead of, uh, if this was three, not as many, what, 11 or something like that, 12, 13 would be 39 so another thing there um ovens if you guys haven't uh built up your oven farm yet basically your oven factory anything i put in here is now going to be able to uh it's going to cook everything all at once so you can see this typically it was you would have one that would cook and then uh, the queue that one would get moved up and then that one would start cooking so your baking times here basically have increased so it's going to cook all five all at once which makes sense if you're throwing them all in the oven at, at once they should all cook at once so that's another uh, another nice little thing right there just to help out with uh, crafting mushroom bricks. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and look at that now. The mushroom bricks are actually cheaper to craft now too. So for mushroom walls rather. So we go over here to uh, the mushroom walls. So the, I think they used to be like uh, five or six uh, mushrooms or mushroom bricks per wall. And now it's only four so you can still get a ton of mushrooms uh, mushroom bricks and craft a heck of a lot more um, mushroom walls now and i think that's uh, partly in due to the bases themselves so if your bases are getting beat up a lot more they reduce the prices basically of uh, having to rebuild those pieces that were destroyed so uh let's see last one i think on here is going to be the green shield bugs that are required for the uh, charcoal canteen i believe let's go ahead and double check that or it's the torch rather apologies the ever charcoal tor torch is now going to require two shield bug parks, two lint rope, three bug loop, and one ever charcoal chunk. 
So it was the green shield bug would only drop one part every time, so you'd have to go kill it once and then wait for it to respawn, kill it again. Now it's going to drop anywhere between two and four. I think the minimum is going to be two, so you're automatically going to go kill one green shield bug and have enough to craft your uh, Everchar Coal Torch there. And then one other little uh, piece here. I know we've covered a lot here, but the charcoal canteen, to repair it now, only costs one charcoal as opposed to, I can't repair mine. It used to cost two charcoal, and uh, charcoal has been one of the things that you kind of need a lot more, not only for the torch and the canteen, but also your ovens and everything. So ne the, reducing the cost of uh, uh, using the charcoal definitely helps out, so you can actually use that charcoal for other things that you're trying to use. So I think that's it. I think that uh, covers about 13 plus um, little things that you might have missed in the uh, in the update. The biggest one right there being the upgrade armor cost, being from... Um, from the uh, 60 or so pieces that it would cost down to the uh, 45 total. So now it's only going to cost 90, 135 pieces to upgrade a whole set of armor to level 6 as opposed to what the 190 or something it was before. So definite improvement. I'm su definitely surprised that they didn't acknowledge that because I think a lot of people who might have been hesitant or uh, disliking this update for that aspect of the armor upgrades would actually appreciate that and uh, show their appreciation to the devs in the discord but that's all we got for this video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you join the uh, community link in the description to join the discord and also just to let you guys know we do run memberships right now for a low cost of uh, i believe 2.99 is our lowest one and that would help out immensely with the channel um, it's equal to just watching thousands of videos so definitely check that out if that's something you guys would be interested in and uh, with that being said take care of yourself everybody take care of each other and as always stay original my friends we'll see you in the next video later